Hello everyone. As we continue our series on causes of lower back pain, we come to the sacroiliac joint. This is the joint that just sits just into this groove over here. And it's part of the pelvis, which are these two bones here that act like cogwheels and allow us to move and function in our day-to-day -day life. Now it's important to note there isn't that much movement here, very little actually, but very, very important for transmitting the forces that come from the hip across into your spine, which just sits on the top here and goes all the way up to your neck. You can see the hip joint just over here, and this is where the hip sits into uh, the socket. It's very interesting because the muscles which come from this part of the pelvis cross across and actually attach into the bone of the hips, the femur, and also muscles from the, the lower part or the inferior part of the pelvis here actually go all the way down and wrap around the back of your knee. So we're very interconnected with the forces that transmit through the hip and then into the pelvis and through the sacroiliac joint. Uh, similarly, you also got restrictions and movements up in the upper spine and muscles which attach into the top of the pelvis and into the uh, spine that can create restrictions which force the pelvis or the sacroiliac joint to move a little bit more or less and actually start to irritate some of the muscles, ligaments and structures around this area. Now it can be a cause of pain but it could just create pain and discomfort elsewhere in the lower spine or in the the hip. Now it's very important that we understand what's causing the pain, that's really important. Most of the time, sacroiliac joint pain is very localized, occasionally can create pain, a little bit of pain down the back of the leg, but different to when we discussed about disc issues and uh, piriformis or sciatica type issues. So it's more localized and you can actually palpate or feel this particular joint if you place your thumb onto your lower back there, you'll be able to feel a little bit of a bony prominence, a bony mark there, and you can just drop down below that and you'll be able to feel uh, a little bit of a sulcus or a drop in there if you can. And if there is pain or discomfort in that area locally, then there could be reasons for thinking about the sacroiliac joint as the potential cause of the problem. Now it's very important that when we think about root cause medicine or root cause approach, we need to think about looking a little bit further away at the interconnections between the hip and the sacroiliac joint and the sacroiliac joint and the spine. So it's important we think about postural positions, movements and functional uh, mobility and stability as well. So I hope that's helpful. We'll continue our series on this lower back pain uh, potential causes of problems. And uh, if you have any questions or queries, we're only a phone call away and please do give us a call. We're happy to talk through and happy to give you some tips and ideas on how you can potentially help.